Hi guys. So we made it across the Canadian border without any trouble at all. Um, both this trip and our trip last year to Algonquin, we had almost zero trouble going into Canada with the camper. And we decided not to record it just in case they got a little bit testy recording the border patrol. So this is just to let you know that they asked us a few questions, where we're going, how long we're going to be there, if we're bringing anything along other than the clothes that we packed. Obviously, we did our research, and we know that we can only bring so much fruit and vegetables, or no fruit and vegetables. We can't uh, bring eggs. Yeah, uh, hardly any dairy. Yeah, the so, meat has to be frozen and marked. Yeah. yeah, I mean... As long as you know what you're doing, and you look ahead so you know whatever country you're going to, in our case Canada, whatever rules and regulations they they allow, you don't bring it because they're just going to take it anyway. So. Yeah, they'll just confiscate it. I mean, you can try and sneak it across, but really, is it worth it? No. You may as well just buy what you need once you get to the other side of the border. Exactly. Yeah. So what we did find, however, was, on, again, both trips, last year to Algonquin and this year, we had a harder time getting back into the U.S. Uh, we went over the Lewiston-Queenston Bridge. We live maybe 30 miles from the bridge itself, from the border. 30 minutes, really. 30 minutes, okay. So we had a harder time as U.S. citizens getting back in the country. Um, they asked us all sorts of questions. Yeah, our license plate multiple times. Yeah. And it wasn't a hassle. It just took longer getting back home than it did getting across into Canada to start our trip. Well, then they, they took the keys from us and went so, and unlocked the camper and came, the camper. came in the camper and looked around. So For a minute or two. It I wasn't mean, long. It wasn't hassle. We didn't go with them either. We didn't have anything to hide, so it wasn't a big deal to us. Um, but, you know, just uh, buyer beware. Don't be buying stuff at the duty-free. Don't be trying to smuggle anything into the country. It's bad news. Yep. And, again, know the rules and regulations before you go, and you'll have an easy trip. And we had a great time at Bruce Peninsula. Awesome. We'd do it again for sure. Definitely.